Yeah, but we're back here at the Honor Health Shea campus where they, like you said, are kicking off Patient Stay Safety Week. Yes, and last you. hour we showed you how they were doing that with their canines with the security team. Well, they're also equipping their nurses with some moves to keep people safe. I want to go ahead and bring in Mike here. Uh, Mike, tell us about this Honor Prevention uh, program. Well, the Honor Prevention Program came about in the fall of about 2018 as a collaborative effort between security as well as uh, our clinical staff. And the whole purpose behind this um, was, again, patient safety was our, our utmost and patient care is of, of the utmost importance. Right. Um, and what the entire thing is designed to do is increase a situational awareness. Yeah. When the nurse walks into a room and a potentially violent patient is in there, um, it also focuses on de-escalation techniques. Right. Um, and, and what you see behind me are, are a couple of techniques that Rebecca's demonstrating and, and just getting away from somebody that, that's pursuing the nurse um, inside of the room. Um, you'll see she's doing like a reverse, uh, a reverse wrist lock and, and pushing the patient away. Right. Um, and it's interesting because in a hospital setting, you may be dealing with people that maybe not be in their right frame of mind. That, and that's correct. Um, is one of the first techniques you want to teach how to kind of just maneuver and get away instead of, instead of engaging the person? Absolutely. And and what the, this entire thing is targeting are, are, are those patients that come in with some violent tendencies, those with narcotic addictions uh, that can be, you know, spontaneous in, in how they react, um, you know, alcoholism, uh, mental and behavioral health. Right. Uh, when you come into your emergency department um, and, and how those nurses are, are subjected to that kind of a, that kind of violence. So again, we really try to accent on the idea of, of, uh, of de-escalating and, and making sure that we take the best care that we possibly can regardless of who the patient is. And regardless, you guys have your security team and people that you equip to keep the hospitals, the staff and the patients safe, but you also have visitors coming in. Is there anything that you'd like to say to those people to kind of assist with this effort? Well, and, and I would like to tell anybody that comes to the Honor Health Hospitals, please understand, we are concerned about patient care and we're concerned about taking care of people um, regardless. And if you do come to a hospital, don't carry things like pocket knives and things like that into into the hospitals. Don't bring weapons at all. Please don't bring firearms. Um, those kind of things that, you know, the security is really going to be aware of. Uh, the clinical staff are, are, are really going to want to get off of the floors. Um, so again, it really boils down to ultimately the patient care and, and taking care of the people that come into our doors. Um, that's really what we focus on. And all of our nurses, our doctors, our medical staff, they've been taking care of us for sure this year more than, I mean, they've been under a lot of stress probably now more than ever. So this week, as they got, kind of go over things to keep these uh, campuses and hospitals safe, you know, take some time out. Go thank them, you know, tell them that they are appreciated because uh, without them, we would definitely not be getting out of this pandemic the way that we currently are. And I'll send it back to you guys. Yeah, that's a fact, Ernie. Thank you.